For my money, and maybe for yours, Eric Stone Street plays one of the best characters on TV. He's won two Emmys playing Cam Tucker on the hit sitcom Modern Family. Now he's tackling someone very different from Cam, to say the least. Eric plays White House advisor Ken Duberstein in the HBO film Confirmation. The biopic focuses on the scandals surrounding Justice Clarence Thomas, his nomination to the Supreme Court, and the allegations brought against him by Anita Hill. I got a chance to speak to Eric a little bit earlier. Clarence, Jenny, first day of the hearings, how are you feeling? Good. Good. Glad to finally be here. Good. Now, just remember, some of these Democrats on the committee are going to be a hard sell. Worst case scenario, seven of them vote against you. That still leaves seven voting for you. And a tie takes you to the full Senate, where oh, we're in great shape. Even with the Democratic majority. Jenny, we only need 50 votes. And last count, we had 60. And with as popular as the president is, the number could even go up higher. So don't worry if you catch a little heat in these hearings. Good to know that. Thank you. Let's get in there. Eric Stone Street. Good morning, sir. Good, good to morning. see you. Good morning. Yeah, good to see you. We were just talking. The timing on this film could not possibly be any better, given what's happening in Washington right now. Yeah, the, with the untimely and unfortunate death of uh, Justice Scalia, and now it's uh, certainly HBO didn't anticipate uh, the, the topic being so relevant right so, now. So you play Ken Duberstein, a guy well known around Washington. He was a chief of staff to Ronald Reagan. Yep. What role did he play in this confirmation process? Well, he was hired to kind of shepherd Clarence Thomas through the process. You know, just be there. You you know for Clarence he wasn't in charge of vetting or anything like that but he was just uh, a well-known guy in Washington that was popular in the town and, a, and, a, and versed in in the town of Washington so he was hired just to kind of walk uh, Justice Thomas through the process this played out very publicly of course 25 years ago did you learn new things about this trial and about these hearings as you went through it and studied I did I you know I, I, I did learn a lot and uh, it was an interesting project for me to get to be a part of you know when HBO comes a call and typically that's a, a good thing to want to be a part of and um, great director and a great writer and of course a chance to work with Carrie I, although my scenes aren't with Carrie but it's very it was very two, two separate camps which mm -hmm. was interesting the way the film was shot because it was very much uh, Carrie Washington's camp and Nita Hill's camp and then Clarence Thomas's camp so we we passed each other one time in the movie and that was it you guys uh, put on a great show on HBO and you're really showing your personal range by also starring in the secret life of pets with Kevin Hart, Louis C.K., yeah. and I wanted to just read you how this dog, Duke, is described. A big, sloppy mongrel. That seems almost defamatory. Oh, right. Well, wow, I think I need to talk to Universal about that. That's, uh, no. Uh, now, we mentioned Modern Family. There's perhaps the real star of that show is Fizbo the Clown. Let's, oh, let's be honest. Yes. One of the great characters is, is in TV. Is he a big mongrel, too? <laughs> Fizbo, I'm told, is not the figment of the imagination of some writer somewhere. Fizbo was played originally in real life by Eric Stone Street. Yeah, is that true? It is absolutely true. My dad gave me the name Fizbo when I was, I think, probably nine or ten years old in Kansas City. I wanted to be a clown in the circus. That was, I guess, my way then of saying I wanted to perform. I wanted to be an actor. I didn't say I wanted to be an actor, this kind of actor, until I was in college. But, um, yep, I was Fizbo the Clown. My grandma made all my costumes, and oh my I would God. perform for kids' parties. I even had, this is very embarrassing. I don't know that I've ever said this on TV, but I had a personalized license plate that said Fizbo. You did not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you did not. Yes. How old were you when this car was being driven around with Fizbo? Well, I was of driving age. I was 16, 17. It was a Cutlass Salon. Wow. Wow. I was like OG in Kansas City. <laughs> Cutlass Salon with Fizbo. Boy, you must have been a real lady killer oh, in that man. ride with, Killing your, it. with your clown name yeah. on the license yeah. plate. <laughs> uh, before I let you go, we've got a little business to take care of here. Uh -oh. You're a wrestling fan. Yeah. Buddy of Brock Lesnar. I am. Okay, so he fought our friend John Cena recently. Oh, and, yeah. And you went real hard at John Cena uh -oh. on Instagram. You said something like, great win, Brock, right? Is that what I said? Brock wins, yeah. hashtag WWE. In your face, Cena. Okay, so Cena read that, and he had something to say oh, to God. you, sir. He's not coming in, is he? I see you, Eric. And revenge is a dish that is best served cold. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Has he been Listen, released for the John, day? John, come on out. No. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm ready to go. <laughs> I've waited for this moment all my life on TV to get to have a physical confrontation with, with John somebody. Cena. Well, yeah. not specific. That's not how I imagine it. We're, 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 yeah. how, how would Fizbo do against John Cena, do you think? Uh, you Fizbo would for... distract him with some magic tricks and then <laughs> run like he saw a scorpion. <laughs>
Oh, I love Eric Stone Street. Confirmation, great film, premieres April 16th on HBO. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.